friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another extra fast Thursday video. As many of you know, I'm going to try to pepper these in a little bit more here and there when I can and I have a fast, exciting, little sad update about a BoxyCharm pop-up order that finally came in to me and if you follow me on Instagram and if you don't by chance you can follow me right here I give you guys sneak peeks behind the scenes so some of you already know my second order came in actually right as I think I was uploading another BoxyCharm video last week and um you guys were helping me with a little bit of the drama behind the scenes and what to do to repair things. So if you are interested in this fun little extra video about my BoxyCharm pop-up, my second order that I was super, super excited for, even more excited for than the first round, stay tuned. Grab your tea, grab your snack, grab your water, get comfy, because I've got some exciting high-end bougie products that I received from my BoxyCharm pop-up for a freaking steal. Even more of a steal after shit hit the fan. Okay, let's get into it. And if you follow me on Instagram, you will know if I see more exciting things that are coming in the BoxyCharm pop-up when they come up, if you are a boxy babe, and I know a ton of you guys are, I let you know when more stuff entices me. Sometimes I give you my thoughts and I was so excited that one of the Instagram accounts I follow, was it BoxyCharm Community or BoxyCharm Spoilers? It was one of them. They let us know that a second round the next day after the pop-up went live, it was like the next day they had added in brand new products. And there was so much Natasha Denona in there. I got excited. I opened up my laptop and I started filming for you what was in there on my Instagram stories to keep you guys updated as much as I can too because I made another purchase. I try not to do that too much. I mean, if I'm going to order something from the BoxyCharm pop-up, I have to really be excited about it because my drawers are getting really, really heavy over here. But oh my gosh, there was so much Natasha Denona in there and I have been super duper, 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 duper intrigued to try more from that brand. After I received something amazing last year, no, not last year now. Oh my golly. I have to stop saying last year. Years and time just get away from me. Two years ago, Erica, one of my awesome subscribers, sent me this when I was recovering from surgery. And this is the Natasha Denona Sunrise Palette. I love a good fiery warm color and she knew that. So she sent this to me during my recovery because she is so amazing. And I do believe this was the first palette they released that wasn't 170 zillion trillion dollars. It was like a $65 palette that made it all attainable for us to actually try the brand without feeling like we had to pawn off our firstborn child or first fur child. Loved it, loved it, loved it. So I became even more curious about the formula and I um, was really excited with everybody else to see that BoxyCharm was giving us a Natasha Denona palette. This is the Peak palette, but there have been some discrepancies in this particular palette's formula. There is a strong love-hate relationship with this palette that we got from Boxy. Some people adore it and got a great formulation that blends and has pigmentation and has all of the great claims that Natasha is known for. And then there's some of us that are like, what's, what's the hype? What's happening? What's going on? Why is this so exciting? Because it was good, but it wasn't as great as I knew her formula could be. And I've heard that so much from you guys too. Half of you say you love it. Half of you say you don't. Some of us are wondering if there was a weird batch situation. You know, we're not makeup scientists. We just know what we know. And there are so many babes in the audience that have told me which formulas, which palettes they've loved from Natasha. So I was like, I'm so excited to play and order some Natasha Denona on a steal from the BoxyCharm pop up. So excited. So I even got more blush. Who am I? I don't know. A lot of you know if you've been with my channel for the duration or you've gone back through some of my videos, blush was never my jam. But the past few years, I've been slowly incorporating more and more blush formulas, brands, styles into my tiny beauty space. And the Natasha Denona blush that I picked up I actually even did some investigating on her website before I made this purchase to see what color story I wanted, simply because there were so many to choose from. And I love that, that BoxyCharm gave us so many varieties. The one I ended up choosing was in the shades, this is palette number 10. It says Tutu and Sheer Peachy Nude. 
these are the ones that I looked up on her website and got really excited for because for me personally, I tend to enjoy a more peach, terracotta, orange brown based blush. Am I making any sense to anyone outside of my own head? I hope so. Um, sometimes blushes are too pink for my skin tone or for the way I like to do makeup because my mother did this to me as a child. I used to go in dance recitals where my mom in the late 80s, early not 90s, yeah 90s, totally like blushed me out. I looked like um, Melanie Griffith in some of her older movies because it was just like, whew, it was a lot. I think I'm a little mentally scarred from all of those blush days. So I tend to gravitate more to something a little bit more of a specific style and tone. And this is one I was really excited for. And I've only gotten to play with this a little bit so far, but I am really enjoying the formula and how it's laying on my face, how I don't feel like it's grabbing to texture or anything. This isn't a full review because I just got the pop up, but I wanted you to know what I got and what I'm thinking so far. I'm going to compare and contrast behind the scenes with some of the other formulas I've got, but I was pretty excited to pick this up. And I was kind of hoping for a bronzer, can't lie, especially since I had gotten a blush, I want to try her bronzer. I think she sells bronzer, right? I picked up the Natasha Glow All Over 01 Light Highlighter. It's kind of just an all over glow, but I think the best way to describe this is highlighter. Called 01 Light Claire, and I have been using this with a bigger brush than I normally do because I tend to use a much more precise brush when I'm wanting to be specific with where I'm putting highlight. But when I have something like this, I lost my brush, where did it go? This and the new Laura Mercier highlighter that I just received from BoxyCharm as well, with these types that you're kind of just more of like a glow, it's like a glisten from within. You are a dewy, glowy goddess no matter what time of year. I've been grabbing to more of a fluffier domed shaped brush and it's definitely looser packed. It's not as tightly packed, so it's not as blinding. Swirl in there, apply it on the face, apply it on the body. Doesn't matter if it's still technically winter. We're going to glow like goddesses if we want to. It's my party and I'll glow if I want to. Might do too much on the nose, but whatever. More is more. I'm still playing with this, um, but I have enjoyed the tone of this a lot. I'm enjoying how my body can glisten, how my face doesn't look like it's too much, but it's got that nice glow to it. And I've obviously piled on more just now, but that's okay because it's fun. I'm liking playing with this, but I was super excited for that. But the main two things, the main two things I was the most excited for were two eyeshadow palettes because she had, I think like, did they have five or six available on the pop-up? And I let you guys know, I was like, guys, this is so exciting. They also had a lip gloss and I was like, okay, pull it back. You've already got one order coming up from the pop-up. None of it was Natasha because they weren't available. They're just pulling us back in with more good stuff the next day. They're wanting us to spend more money and dang it, that worked. I got two of the eyeshadow palettes. I specifically chose these two because they have some nude tones to them. So I feel like I could use them more frequently, but then some pops of green that I was excited for, a turquoise, a blue, a creamy tone, and they both came broken. Legit both came broken. I let you guys know, I was like, what's a girl to do? Do they replace things in the pop-up? I'm sure this is sold out and I was right. You guys let me know. Yeah, go ahead and reach out to customer service. They'll probably help you with it. I did the whole spiel like you're supposed to. I'm still an average person and consumer. Like I still had to go through the whole rigmarole of going through their support, but they were really quick with it. So I can at least appreciate how fast they let me know. Okay, yeah, we need to see that these are actually yours. You received them and they were broken and they were and they were sold out. So they couldn't replace them, which was super disappointing because the main shades that I was really excited for were the ones that broke and they were not bubble wrapped. I did let customer service know, hey, they came in packaging, but and there was some filler in the box, but these two specifically were not bubble wrapped, but I believe one of the other products was maybe the highlighter or the blush, but these were not bubble wrapped and they were very apologetic. And I did get a full refund for these two products because I did send them a photo with my shipping label to prove to them I did receive it from the BoxyCharm pop-up and they came broken. I played with these for a couple of days now, but some of you guys were so sweet because I was like, what's a girl to do? These were the things I was the most excited about. So a lot of you let me know and sent me videos, thank you so much, on how to repress these. I've never done that. Real talk. People always say, oh, if it breaks, you could repress it. And it sounds so like easy to say, but it's a little heart wrenching to do because you have to crush them up and, and just 
just pray you don't mess it up or lose all of the pigment. I'm so scared to do it. I think I will do it because I'm super excited about it. But I wanted to do a green look for you today with these shades. And I wanted to wear the right outfit, but I didn't have a top that would go. So this is an old concert top. I just, I don't know when I'll ever see a concert again, but I thought, how appropriate. Green with green. All right, this one here, oh, I gotta be so gentle because I haven't repressed them yet. This one is the Eyeshadow Palette 5 Palette 11. I'm very confused with how they name them. But this is a very neutral palette. Shocker. Try not to lose any of the pants. But I think you can see here, we've got beautiful brown tones, neutrals, and these gorgeous greens. I mean, an emerald green and a bottle green are what they're called. I have been loving this formula so, so much. And I can say, I think even some of these formulas, I'm still playing with them, it's still early on, might be even better than this the bigger palette that I have because I kept hearing that first palette that she put out maybe wasn't her most accurate formula because it was the first time that she was switching up I guess styles I'm not really sure but I love this formula I'm just so sad that it's come broken so I have to be extra gentle because I'm so afraid these greens are just gonna pop out and I'm going to I hope you could see it off the reflection sorry I don't want to lose them I really hope that I can press them back in but you have to tear them apart to put it all back in and make it a, a solid pan again. And this one, the one shade that I was like, oh yes, that's gonna look gorgeous this summer. Heck, even for St. Patty's Day, it's a gorgeous teal shade, kind of nail inspired here. Um, yeah, it's the only shade that broke in this palette. This one is the Eyeshadow Palette 5, Palette 6. It's again, very neutral with this two pops of color. Oh, be gentle, be gentle, please don't fall out. This is the one that really looks like she could go at any time. It's just so heartbreaking because these are so darn pretty and the formula so far has just been so buttery, goes in the crease, goes across the lid with either a brush or a finger, super easy, but I'm very heartbroken, very, very heartbroken about how broken these palettes are and they couldn't replace them and I get that because they sold out. So I think I will do the techniques that some of you sent me multiple videos on how to do it, but you have to crush it up and then press it back in. Um, so I'm... Some of, it, some of them show with alcohol, some of them show not with alcohol. If you've had to repress specifically the formula for Natasha, have you used alcohol or not alcohol? Because I've heard both ways couldn't work, so I'm just curious. I'm just so nervous about doing it myself. I have to do it on a day I have a lot of confidence and have a steady hand. I feel like I also have to be brave because you have to crush up the rest of that pan, don't you? That's what all the videos showed me. Oh. I'm so scared, but I am loving these two so much so far. Again, I've not had them that long and I've only gotten to play with them a bit here and there. I am absolutely wearing them today and I was just going to kind of do a neutral shade and then I was like, it's March. I need to get into the green festivities, hence the green top and the green earrings. And I, I just kind of went for it and it's a really nice formula. The shimmers are great. Even the more matte-ish tone has some fallout, but it's super duper blendable. It's like butter. So... Super sad they came broke in, but really, really glad I was able to at least get them for a steal. Actually, I got them for free now because they did give me a refund. They did give me a refund when they found out that they were so broken and it was accurate. So I really only had to pay for the BoxyCharm pop-up for these two. So, you know, there's worse things in life. I just have to get brave and repress them. Thank you guys so much for just coming along for a very quick pop-up update from BoxyCharm. I love that we were able to get some more Natasha Denona in the BoxyCharm pop-up. And how funny is it that that was the brand that won your votes in the BoxyCharm Awards for 2020? That's the one brand you wanted to see more from. And it was like, okay, in February, we're going to give you this pop-up. And here you go. The next day, it had so many Natasha products. Did you get any? Did you get some of these? Tell me what you got from the pop-up. Because I know some of you said, I made two, three, four, five five, six orders when things kept, you know, they kept adding to. It was so exciting. So tell me what you got below. Super excited to hear about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you happen to be new to my loud, weird, crazy, unique channel, hi new friends. I hope you take a quick moment to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on all of these fun, loud, weird, unique videos that I do every single week. <laughs> Bye friends.